the superhero team against the dark team. We return here again with the tournament of anime for another crazy matchup. As y'all know, last time we seen the dark team and Griffith dominate against the video game team, but today they're going to be taking on someone even stronger. Superman, as well as his, you know, the Avengers, DC, all of them together, they're going to be an insane threat for the dark team. We get to see Superman in his prime, as well as Griffith battle it out. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Are y'all on the dark side or the hero side? The only one can win today in the tournament of anime. I am not going to be the only one to lose here. Guy Sensei, please let this work. It is now or never. Fist of a guy like Rock Lee. Leg weight talk can't stop me. Drunken fist at top speed. Eight gates flow can pop D. Fist up, put me no talk, just hands. All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Aiso, and as y'all see, we return here again with the tournament of anime, man. Last time we seen Fate take down Bleach in a crazy matchup, but Fate this was just a little bit stronger in both cases. So today we come here with something brand new. We have the superhero team against the dark team. So feel me, it's gonna be something crazy. I'll show you guys obviously the the bracket here. Before we get into the losers bracket, we still have to do the JJK versus Fate, which is gonna be something crazy after obviously superhero team versus the dark team. So we got a few fights before obviously the losers bracket, but the losers bracket is gonna be crazy. Every team has gotten buffed, and I will obviously show you guys all that stuff before we go into it. If y'all want any of these characters, join the Discord down below, and uh, we're gonna be starting with the first team for both of these shows. So hope enjoying let's get into it all right all right all right let's get into round one i had to replace raven with a uh, spider-man because she kept crashing but here we go we got carnage we got serpico we got a lot of strong people on the stage man i'm excited to see how they all go oh yeah some nice little bits of damage superhero team starting off strong off the rip oh yeah it's carnage and spider-man I, I never knew that was a duel that we might need but i'm not gonna lie they think locked in right now okay here we go Ser Serpico getting in sky. I remember last time we see Serpico, he was so locked in. People in the comments were talking about Serpico might be a problem. So we got to see is he is he really an MVP status the way y'all been quoting him as? You know, it's a new carnage. We got to see what, how he does against Serpico. And uh, Serpico ain't no, he ain't soft. Feel me? He started off pretty bad this match, but um, we got to see if that continues. Oh my God, Carnage with the damage. Carnage got damage. That's one thing. And Carnage being, you know, the weak link of the superhero team for a little while, you know, finally get to see him come back, be a little bit stronger than he was. But, um, oh my god, Wolverine Carnage combo doing damage to my boy Serpico right now. Okay, Serpico getting some, some hits off here. And we know he has combos, he has nice damage, you know, if Serpico gets his, he gotta get in his groove though. Oh yeah, he's in his groove. Yep, get a little bit of range. You know, they still got guts. They do have um, Kaneki, so the Dark Team have a nice little squad here, but so does the uh, Superhero Team. Super, the, the heroes versus the villains, like I said last time, man. I'm excited to see how this goes. So far, I'm not going to lie, they're about even. They're definitely about even. Right now, Serpico now has the lead in, in his mode. This boy's locked in. Oh, this boy's locked in. Oh, my God. The way of the wind. And there we go. Serpico takes out the first contender. He might be living up to that name, the MVP, the, you know, the, the, the praise that y'all gave him. He might be living up to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay, Spider-Man coming in here. Throwing Spider-Man, throwing Wolverine, obviously. Throwing him into Wolverine. Okay. Ultimate attack. Yep, that's going to hurt. That might kill Serpico. Oh, that shit does damage. And it, it's the fact that he has, like, you know, these little webs and things like that. That's really what's making, obviously, a big difference. But, um... Serpico going into the background, not dying from obviously. And now we got Kaneki stepping out of the floor. Kaneki versus Spider Man is going to be kind of tough. Okay. Okay. Nice little combos. Nice little bits of damage. And oh my God. There we go. Like I said, I already knew the combos was coming. Yep. Spider Man swinging onto him. Yep. Again, swinging into him again. Oh shit. This guy is crazy. Okay. Oh, and nice, all right, nice little bits of damage. And I'm not gonna lie, like I said, it's still about even. You know, Serpico with no health, Kaneki and Spider Man around the same amount of health. I know that uh, Spider Man has a mode, and so does Kaneki, so we're gonna see how that goes. Okay, Kaneki, the first person to go into mode. And Spider Man coming up clutch, man. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how good Raven would have done. She might have done this good, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, Spider Man doing what he needs to do. There we go, but Kaneki is too. Nice little bits of damage, slamming him into the ground. I think Kaneki has more range because obviously his um the tentacles and stuff like that, you know, his uh that was called it's not Kakuja or whatever the shit's is called, but um he has more range, but Spider-Man definitely has a little bit more damage, you know, a little more consistency. Yep. Oh yeah, this, yeah, the range is gonna come in handy right now with the Serpico combo. And yeah, there we go. I'm not gonna lie, Kaneki takes this one home too. Here we go, we got Wolverine. 
You guys see what Wolverine does, obviously, to Kaneki. Kaneki being the strongest on the team. Wolverine being the strongest on the team as well. Two strongest going against each other. Wolverine slicing him up early. There we go. We got Kaneki transforming. And they still have guts. They still have guts in the background, which is going to make this fight super hard for Wolverine no matter what. If he does take down Kaneki, which it looks like he might be doing. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Kaneki might be cooked. Okay. Kaneki with the ultimate attack. Okay, the ultimate attack is going to hurt. I know Wolverine can regenerate. I don't know if that's only in mode, but oh, yeah, the ultimate attack hurt, hurt. It didn't hurt a little bit. That shit hurt. Okay. Okay. Wolverine cutting Kaneki down. And yeah, there we go. He's out. He's out. I think Serpico might have just died there, too. Yeah, Serpico died. Now it's just Wolverine going against Guts in a 1v1 battle. We got to see how this goes. Yep, Wolverine getting the hits in. And like I said, Wolverine is faster. He's faster. He has the better combos. But Guts has, you know, obviously he has his Berserker armor. He can, you know, go into that uh that hyper armor state once he transforms and he can get the bleed off. He has better calm. He starts getting faster, more damage. I don't know. That boy Guts could bring this shit back. That's what I'm low-key waiting for. Okay. And I don't know if Wolverine has any, has any other modes. That shit also could obviously change the tide of this battle. Oh yeah, Wolverine cutting up my boy Guts. Oh, yeah, this is, yep, that, that hurts right there. And, okay, Guts getting low. I'm not gonna lie. I know this boy has a mode. I, we gotta see if he pops it. This nigga might be cooked. Okay. Okay. Oh, and wait, before he can pop mode. I know this nigga got hit with the one shot. Oh, nah, yeah, that's crazy. Wolverine taking round one before he can pop mode going into a one shot. All right, all right. And it's 1 0 now. The dark team has to win here if they wanna win. Obviously, bring it back. We got two dangerous people, Akame. She can kill Thanos if she lands, you know, obviously she has the one shots. She has one tag on Thanos right here. And like I said, she can she can kill you if she lands all three of her tags. She has two tags now. Okay, this is bad. Like a lot of game, this is super bad for Thanos. Like I said, Akame is dangerous against anybody because she has the one shot tags. You know what I mean? But we know Thanos is extremely strong when he gets obviously all his stones out. You gotta see what Thanos can do. Okay, Thanos putting in work right now. There we go. No. Okay, there we go. She has three tags on him now. So if it comes down to a one shot, she can one shot. Okay. Thanos not, you know, obviously, like I said, Thanos wants to keep his distance here. Because if he gets hit with that one shot, you feel me? He's out of the game now. Okay. He gets distracted by Griffith. Oh, it doesn't even look like they might need not even need the one shot for him right now. Okay. Here we go. And she has three tags on Superman now. Okay, this could be super bad for the, the Super Eight team. This is not how you want to start. One shot. Superman, one shot. Ooh, and that shit hurts. <laughs> like I said, he, she put three tags on Thanos and then transferred over to Superman. It's not like a, a specific person thing. I know some people probably wouldn't want that, but it is universal and there's no way to change that. Oh my God, that is so bad. I'm not going to lie for uh for the superhero team at least superman took a lot of damage thanos out for the count and you lost both of your people to akame who's not weak but um she's not that strong neither okay and did she actually end up killing superman i don't know if the health was kind of like a bug thing he might have actually had less health than we thought he did because i was about to say i thought i thought her or her one shot went through modes but if that's the truth then i know we're not just watching a 3v1 right now i know we're not watching akame beat an entire team okay forcing my boy flash in a mode here oh my god i know we're not watching akame take on an entire team <laughs> oh nah he's on demon timing okay she, she put a tag on my boy flash now so and yeah flash is getting jumped oh nah and she takes down the superhero team Th that is insane all right after that performance i thought about giving her a spot on the top three but obviously you know I, I can't do that right now as well as you know i wanted to make an announcement obviously about what happened i don't know if superman you know he had some health left people probably complain like yo that should have been you know restart but i'm not gonna lie they had no chance of winning that even if superman still had another form bro you lost two players you know superman was low we have to admit that honestly th they had no chance of coming back there so we obviously just moved into the next match and the dark team starting off strong with kaneki and, and wolverine okay i'm not gonna lie it's kaneki starting off crazy strong but here we go we got wolverine now locked back in with thor yep lightning mode not lightning mode but dropping some lightning oh yeah ultimate attack by kaneki but he switches out into juzo instead of following up with it 
Okay. I'm not gonna have a dark team. They're comboing well together right now. Okay. But Wolverine definitely, like I said, we know he has combos as well. He has that one shot. So he has things that could definitely make shit dangerous. Depending if he lands everything. Oh yeah, a little ice breath by my boy Thor. Here we go. Wolverine catches some long combos. Like I said, they hit him with a long combo, so you know it's only fair that he he lands like a little nice long combo there. Juzo was with the combo. Oh, yeah, this Juzo combo always doing damage. Wolverine transforming now. Here we go. Okay, and it's, it's like, like I said, it's literally him versus Juzo. Only one can win here. We gotta see what happens. Thor helping out with a little bit of lightning right there. Oh, is that the one shot? Oh, I thought that was the one shot. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say that's not what you want to get hit with Juzo because we know Juzo has um he has a mode. Here we go. Wolverine locked in right now. Wolverine is putting in pain all around. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That might be the one shot. Oh no, man, that wasn't the one shot. I always think everything this boy pop is the one shot because he has that shit. I just be seeing it pop out of nowhere sometimes. Okay. Okay, the game looks like it's slowing down a little bit right here. Okay. Oh, that's gonna do some damage. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Wolverine getting some a little bit of damage off. I started lagging for a second there, but here we go. Okay, Griffith. Aniki getting an ultimate attack off here, I think. Okay, yeah, it definitely was an ultimate attack. It's a little dark, obviously. I don't know if they're gonna, if, if it's supposed to look like this, but uh, we can't see everything Kaneki's doing. It sounds like I'm yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm betting on Kaneki. This is, this definitely has to be his ultimate attack. Oh yeah, and that should definitely did some nice damage on Wolverine. Griffith putting out a little beam right here. Kaneki getting some combos off. And here we go. We got Superman stepping on the battlefield. We haven't seen Superman in a little bit. Oh yeah. Kaneki going into his last mode, I think. Oh yeah, the ice breath is gonna hurt every time. Knocking both of them back, Griffith and my boy Kaneki. And we got Superman comboing up. Okay. And we gotta see what they do. Like I said, Superman getting a little bit of damage here. Thor with a little electricity strike. Okay, yeah, I'm about to say Kaneki stuck in the ground. There we go. Kaneki getting out. And I'm not gonna lie, yo, Kaneki is putting in pain right now. Juzo already fought. We we know that um Kaneki already fought. You know, Kaneki's getting low. Griffith hasn't fought yet. So we gotta see what you know. Obviously, their, their goal here is obviously do a lot of damage before Griffith uh, comes out. They gotta be Griffith. They still gotta worry, obviously, like I said, they, they have to worry about Griffith. Okay. And he, oh, Kaneki, it looked like Kaneki had landed ultimate attack there, but I don't know. It just didn't follow through all the way. Okay, Kaneki with some combos. Not Kaneki, Superman with some combos, and he has his lightning mode on right now, which is gonna make shit a little bit more dangerous. Ultimate attack, lands the ultimate attack. Okay, and Kaneki's in his last mode right now. I'm about to say, it depends on how this two go right here. I'm about to say, okay, we got Superman going into his little sunlight mode. We gotta see what happens here. Transforming, yep, here we go. And Kaneki, like I said, he's still putting off for his team, bro. Even at this late in the game, this nigga's still putting in mad damage, mad combos. Juzo's low, Kaneki's low. Um, it's, it's gonna be up to Superman. Thor hasn't fought yet, and Griffith hasn't fought yet. I'm not gonna lie, these niggas are having a close ass battle right now. It's winner go home right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's looking like Kaneki will be getting sent home right now. Okay, here we go. We got yeah, Superman and his clone coming out here. Yep. And here we go. You, you already, we already know the clone is gonna make shit so much harder for. Obviously, he has a health bar. He's hittable as well. But um, like I said, it's gonna be a lot harder for anybody who has to go get Superman or his clone. Okay, okay. Here we go. We got Juzo. Juzo going against Superman, his clone, and Wolverine running out on the battlefield right now. These niggas are looking to jump. They're looking to jump shit like pain six six paths. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This nigga Superman's prepping. He start popping mad moves and shit. This nigga's prepping. He's prepping up right now. He's prepping up right now. And oh yeah. And Superman, like a Superman and his clone. We've seen this before. These niggas is demons. Oh my god, I can't even these niggas is locked in. They're locked in. They got her frozen, but or him frozen, but it's not looking good. Yeah, Juzo's out. Juzo's out. Now it's just it's Griffith. It's Griffith. Okay. I, I can't even see Griffith. Okay. Here we go, we got, yeah, there we go, we got Zod stepping on the battlefield. He said, you can pull out your clone, I'm pulling out my backup right now. Yup. But, oh, I'm not gonna lie, Zod's gonna die, he's getting ran down. Oh my god, and there goes Zod. There goes Zod. Okay, and then, here we go, we got Griffith going into, maybe they can bring this back with the realm. Okay. 
I'm not gonna lie, yeah, it's up to Griffith now, obviously, in this last state, but uh, it's not looking good for him right now. He's attacking the clone, and yeah, he gets caught up in between Ice Breath, taking down Griffith, and taking down the Dark Team for what I looked at.